It is the worst that they have seen in a long time. Emergency workers in New Hampshire telling us that they're dealing with a big spike right now in suspected drug overdoses. WBZ's Jordan Jagalinzer is live for us in Nashua tonight. And Jordan, they're quickly trying to come up with a life-saving solution. Yes, David, and first responders here at Nashua Fire Rescue tell me that they've been responding to about a dozen calls a week for overdoses. President Biden mentioned this issue last night in his State of the Union address. Now there's a push nationally and locally to prevent these overdose deaths from happening. President Biden pushing to end the addiction crisis across the country. Fentanyl is killing more than 70,000 Americans a year. A problem New Hampshire knows too well. Manchester in a 36-hour period at the beginning of the week had seven overdose fatalities. Nashua Assistant Fire Chief William Atkinson has been a firefighter since 1993. He tells WBZ he's seeing more overdoses than ever. When everyone was stuck inside, uh, we saw a significant uptick in COVID, both in the overdoses and on fatalities, uh, and that was statewide. Nashua saw 41 overdose deaths last year, Manchester 72. It still is a very real part of our uh, daily responses. The Narcan that's contained in this bag is for the guys that ride on the apparatus. And while firefighters are equipped with Narcan, Assistant Chief Atkinson says with fentanyl, it's not always enough. That oftentimes when we respond on overdose calls, we find that a civilian or someone on scene has already administered a dose of Narcan prior to us getting on scene. So. But because of the strength of fentanyl, oftentimes it takes multiple doses of Narcan to revive someone. The president said last night he does want to put a stop to the sale of fentanyl, and the hope is that with more awareness and education, real change can happen. Coming up on WBZ News at 6, hear from a New Hampshire father who lost his daughter to an overdose. He was in the audience at the State of the Union address last night. Hear what he had to say. Live in Nashua, Jordan Jagalinzer, WBZ News. Jordan, see you at 6 o'clock. Thank you. In Massachusetts, overdose deaths were at their highest number ever in 2021. There were more than 2,200 deaths, and you can see here on the graph, the number had been holding fairly steady before a significant jump in 2021. The numbers for this year, by the way, have not yet been released.